Hi my beautiful lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another video today. I hope you are doing well. Well, today we have a slightly different candle. It's a bit bigger, but I've decided to use a black candle. It's not so black, but I couldn't find any other black color. <laughs> I mean, black color. Then I found out it's it's a very dark uh, uh, plum color, but never mind. Um, it it really looks like it's black, so it can also be black. I'm not quite sure. And uh, yeah, I would like to use it because we are gonna be clearing your energy, your toxic environment, and by looking at it, you are gonna feel protected and much better. Okay, so today's reading is um, what's going on in your life right now, okay? So it's a very important topic for many people and um, let's try it. Okay, so today we have four groups and I'm gonna use um, this deck for selection all right this is for group number one group number two group number three and group number four. For group number one, we have a beautiful blue crystal. Group number two, the white one. Group number three, green one. And group number four, a black one. So take your time, relax, the sun is shining as you can see, <laughs> beautiful morning. All right, and we can start. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to be looking at what's going on in your life right now and in the near future. Okay, so group number one, the first message we get is healing chaos. All right, so some of you might be going through some healing period, but also it can represent, uh, uh, this energy represents healing, yeah? And maybe there was some chaos in your life, something already happened, the tower moment, aha moment, yeah? And you are right now healing from it. If not, you are gonna be going through it, okay? But this is a healing chaos. Uh, it's meant to, it was meant to happen in your life because uh, the God wants you to be healed, to move on to the next chapter. So right now you are healing, you are, you know, uh, you should be really spending more time on your own and in solitude, praying a little bit more. But also, yes, if you are suffering from any sort of illness, it's a time for healing and recovery. So, excellent news. Okay, so we are gonna be doing the Celtic Cross reading and looking at your situation. Okay, Spirit, tell us, show us what's going on in pile number one people in their life right now and in the near future. Let's cut the deck and we can start. Okay, so. So right now we have five of pentacles you might be feeling lonely 
or left out in the code but also some of you might have financial troubles issues not, not enough money okay and you are just worried what's gonna happen in your life next you are feeling really like maybe it's cold outside like you know there is no help for you no one is interested in you but don't worry my dear you have your angels around you all the time all right so what is uh, crossing it is the chariot okay for some of you it speaks about the distance yeah uh, in order to be happy you will have to move on and uh, find a better place for living basically or for the others of you um, you want progress in your life you really want this progress and uh, it's not happening and it's frustrating you right but i'm telling you that uh, it's it's a just a temporary situation okay and you are going to move from it because the chariot is speaking about prosperity about progress about moving on moving forward so um, i'm not seeing you in this five of pentacles energy for a long time okay we have uh, the next uh, message is page of wands energy this is a very youngish energy like a teenager <laughs> or 20 years old person um, Mm, who is actually influencing your decision okay this person is basically very passionate very maybe it's you as well you are very passionate about some idea in your life and you want to achieve it you are thinking about it constantly if it's not you it could be someone who is interested in you who is very passionate about you and who would like to get to know you much better so they see a potential in this connection okay then we have five, uh, four of swords energy this is that healing chaos right so this is the root the root cause of all this what's happening it's healing chaos yeah this is uh, what's happening really in your life you are meant to be in your healing chaos energy or you um you are meant to be relaxing sleeping napping <laughs> and also yes just doing nothing and uh, waiting for for new things to happen in your life okay in the past what happened in the past six of pentacles so for some of you i see uh, cooperation you were very charitable very generous very nice to other people for the others of you i i see that one person was giving to two people and it was really like a burnout for this person um it may it caused some some tower moment in your connection um but also I see that you are very balanced, you are very uh, someone who, who likes to give a lot of your energy to others and maybe that's why you right now you need to spend more time on your own. Okay, so what's coming up in the near future? Oh, we have three of cups. This talks about celebration. You're going to be uh, having fun, celebrating, enjoying yourself, but also spending more time with your family, with your friends what else um some sort of a celebration is coming up some some happy happy news okay wait for some good news good news is coming also i'm seeing here free friends celebrating going out so maybe you are just going to enjoy yourself and have fun all right so let's move on the next uh, card we have uh, five of cups okay so uh, your strength right now is uh, influenced by um, looking into the past. You could be a really strong person, okay? But this past is really heavily on your mind and you are not able to move on from it. My dear, you have to release the past and move and grow. We are meant to grow, okay? We are meant to dream big. Uh, and you are focusing too much on the past events, on your past lovers, on your past employment, on your past people in your life. You know, you should really live in, in the present moment and enjoy yourself. And you are releasing this energy. I see it strongly here. You are moving forward. So, uh, yes, take your time. But uh, don't spend too much time in your <laughs> um, energy of uh, being in the past. Okay, then we have uh, the next card is two of, two of pentacles. So you are going to be deciding what to do okay um juggling a little bit because you are indecisive uh, or you are gonna be indecisive about some sort of uh, some sort of situation 
it could be connected to your job because we have pentacles here but also it could be connected to uh, your love interest maybe you are gonna have two people interested in you and you are gonna be deciding uh, who to really take with you and uh, have fun and uh, yes um, be happy okay what are your hopes and fears all right so you are really really anxious about your life and uh, this is your fear right you are hoping for this to to stop this anxiety this frustration this is your biggest hope just to be happy yeah to stop this anxiety and this is also your fear because uh, it's never ending for you you are constantly thinking about everything all your problems in your life and uh, yes that's not good for you it's not healthy so what is the outcome for you we have look at that knight of swords okay very fast moving energy someone is rushing into your life this is your outcome they could be gemini libra aquarius um, but also very passionate uh, aries leo sagittarius or maybe it's your energy that you are gonna decide to do something and there is gonna be a lot of action in your life you're gonna decide to stop being in this anxiety frustration and stuck energy and uh, the outcome of your situation is moving on and being happy and uh, really being action oriented driven and uh, doing stuff which you like doing yeah but uh, a lot of fast moving energy and i i see in love someone really rushing into your life okay so uh, let's get some more messages for you some general messages for my beautiful pile number one people what are the general messages messages they need to know what's going on right now and in the near future in your life okay we have a journey either physical or mental as i said you are going to be traveling you know i saw this chariot energy which is uh, actually crossing the five of pentacles energy for some of you you might find a job somewhere else in another country you will you have to relocate for the others of you you will find the love somewhere else or it can represent just a you know holiday vacation enjoying yourself being happy we also have situations in the balance that require careful handling a distant friend is thinking of you oh beautiful we have victory card one more so let's see we have fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair we also have june we also have climbing towards success september and victory okay so i see that uh, something could have happened already in the month of june or in september all right so we also will have or will happen yeah you also have the card of beautiful card of victory so definitely there is success on its way good news is coming you are climbing towards success don't forget about it it's a very strong message so you are a fair woman you are someone who is uh, very loyal and uh, like a dog very protective yeah and people see it people see your value people see that you are you are different that you are very kind and uh, have courage yeah and you are gonna go for your dreams a distant friend is thinking of you definitely someone from a distance is thinking of you all right very strong energy coming through all right so uh, anything else we should know for group number one we have great passion is coming <laughs> a sincere wish will be granted to you protection from a powerful friend again we have a dog so maybe your deceased dog is also thinking about you that's a, another message coming through because we have two dogs here but also it can represent a person of course who is strongly thinking about you and a very loyal person there are new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up for you a wish is being granted to you 
April month can, can be significant for you. Also, we have uh, feeling tied down or frustrated. Yes, we saw it. Wow, look at that. Love is coming in group number one. <laughs> Love is coming. Be patient. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Okay, so be careful who you are talking to and trouble and accusations. For some of you, that's why you are going through this healing chaos because so there were some accusations which were not fair and I completely understand. So you have to heal. Okay, my dears. So that's all I have for you right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out what's going on right now and in the near future in your life, of course. So we have solitude. Right now you might be going through some period of being alone and spending more time on your own and relaxing more or just uh, not being so active, yeah? taking a nap basically or maybe some of you are going uh, for walks in the nature because you want to get grounded as, again, that's good. Um, yes, solitude, not, not speaking too much, not communicating too much. We are going through Mercury retrograde right now. That's completely understandable that we want to spend some time on our own because uh, yes, you know what Mercury retrograde means. Okay, so let's shuffle a little bit and we're going to do the Celtic cross energy check in for pile number two people. Number two people. No more. Okay, we are gonna cut the deck. And we can start. All right. So, I hope you can see it now. <laughs> uh, Celtic Cross Energy card. And right now you are, yes, temperance, healing, yeah? Uh, spending more time on your own, uh, getting back your balance, your vitality, your life, basically. Yes, you are recharging yourself, healing chaos, yeah? Uh, this beautiful angel is protecting you and uh, the temperance card is a major arcana card this is meant to happen in your life this solitude or if you are uh, feeling like you need to you know be on your own that's perfect yeah it's meant to happen for a reason and we have the sun card crossing this energy beautiful so uh, yes in order to find your happiness and to bring it back into your life you have to spend more time on your own you have to recharge all right this is a very strong message coming through and also uh, the sun card energy is uh, talking about uh, happy moments in your life so it's uh, really gonna be influenced by you yes that's why you need to be healed you need to be prepared for happy moments happening in your life all right you need to recharge okay so uh, what is your conscience thinking about five of pentacles okay maybe um, you are thinking too much about money, you are thinking too much about uh, finances and uh, feeling uh, lonely, feeling uh, lost. So uh, maybe something happened in regards of material things in your life already, but don't worry, it's gonna pass. This is just a temporary situation. Then we have uh, the card of uh, the chariot, all right, so you are, this is the root cause of your situation, the chariot, you want to move on, you want to travel, you want to progress in your life, this is your will, 
yeah your wish as well so for some of you so definitely some of you want to get a new car i'm seeing it but also the chariot is success is victory is progress this speaks about uh, you know very positive vibes so what happened in the past okay three of swords so a lot of heartbreaks something happened in your life what broke your heart okay this could be in love or also you were not happy maybe at work as well and you just wanna you know be happy you want to heal your heart that's good that's why you you are going through a solitude right now you are healing my dears i'm really sorry for a, for whatever happened but please trust me rejection is a divine protection okay then we have what's gonna happen in the near future five of swords energy this is speaking uh, you know battle mm, fighting fighting for something and you want to be victorious at all costs you are get, gonna get your power back so in the near future you are becoming someone very strong someone who is going for your dreams no matter what this is your energy no matter what you are gonna achieve it basically being successful okay then we have the card of the tower so the strength card this is this is uh, talking this card talks about strength but uh, you got the tower card so basically whatever happened in your life which caused to crumble everything in your life you became stronger you became someone new someone stronger that that what happened actually helped you all right then we have ace of cups energy okay so this is speaking about brand new beginning in love brand new beginning in something doing what you love very nice card to receive okay and um, uh, yes unconditional love my favorite card ace of cups okay that's uh, very nice what are your fears okay this is what is uh, like uh, it represents uh, the 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 outside influences of your decisions ace of cups this card represents uh, hopes and fears okay you would like to be working hard you are very hard working you would like to achieve something in your life you are ready to put more energy effort into it very good you are very hard working i see that and also you are worried about uh not achieving it yeah you are worried that you are not gonna be so successful but my dear if you have a will everything is possible what is the outcome of your situation wow we have four of wands energy amazing this is a marriage card this is a card of celebration of party this is a card of being happy and uh, uh, yes of being happy being like uh, I'm happy. I, 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 I'm fulfilled. I don't think I'm anything else in my life. So this is what is coming up. For many of you, it's a marriage card. Yeah. So uh, you might uh, find a new love very soon if they are not already in your life. Okay, my dears. Now we are going to get a few more messages for you. These are going to be very general messages so that you know where you stand. So what we should know for group number two. All right. So we have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Oh, wow. We have something important such as a new job or a race. Okay. We have the month of August. We also have Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. A protection from a powerful friend and we have compliments from an admirer all right so you might have a secret admirer if you don't know <laughs> and also what what i see for you coming up is a new job or new adventure something new beautiful which is gonna fulfill you wow i like the, this reading very much so anything else we should know that's a lot of cards i just take one by one so let's do it So we have solid foundation, success with effort. Okay, in order to be successful, we need plans. We need a stable plan, yeah? Solid foundation, success with effort. 
you might be going through a period of dissatisfaction with life right now please don't <laughs> we have a creep card birth or conception of a child or an enterprise amazing so for some of you it's speaking about the job or for some of you it's talking about a baby okay and this baby is gonna be uh, your wish come true what else we have success yes success is coming and someone will gossip about all your secrets of course what would they do right <laughs> these people they would be so bored if they were not allowed to gossip okay goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth so you are going through a very strong spiritual growth or you are gonna get money yeah so anything else we should know group number two So we have slowly but surely getting ahead maybe it takes a little bit more time for you to move on and to find a different sort of uh, vib vibration but it's okay take your time we have someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation okay maybe you are closing one chapter in your life and you are starting something new and the last message wow oh my goodness <laughs> lily spiritual love so this is what it's coming okay very general uh, message but uh, i saw it ace of cups card energy uh, spiritual love is entering okay you are gonna be very much in love very soon my loves okay so that's all i have for you right now i hope i helped you i hope you liked it and if yes please don't forget to subscribe share and comment and i will see you in my next video bye So, hi group 3, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out what's going on right now in your life and in the near future. We have going forward, amazing. So we are going forward, all right? You are moving on from your old life, releasing it, being happy and basically stepping into the unknown, okay? Walking out from your comfort zone. Wow, I love it. You are going forward okay so what we are gonna do now is the celtic cross which is gonna show you what sort of energy you are going through right now and in the near future so we shuffle it and we can start all right so this is your celtic cross and we can start the first card where you are right now is the hermit mode okay right now you might be spending some time on your own going within yourself asking questions um you are on your soul journey what i'm hearing yeah this is a journey for you and you are finding your true path okay which way you should really go and move on so you are going forward basically you see you are going forward during the night or day you are moving on you are going forward and maybe um you want to spend more time on your own because you want to find this right path for you it's very important for you so you might be more silent during this time we also have knight of cups energy crossing your energy all right so there is a man there is someone who 
who is very romantic around you and they would like to offer you a cup of love or just to apologize or just to be nice and to have some heart to heart conversations with you and get to know you better. Okay, this person, Knight of Cups, is very emotional, very, very romantic, all about romance. This person, this individual, they could be a water sign, so that means Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they don't need to be, all right? So, uh, what is your conscious thinking? Judgment, all right, so you are consciously thinking about some sort of a reconciliation or rebirth, basically, you want to you wanna get your life back. Uh, you want to be happy again, you want to be resurrected, or you want to really reconcile with somebody in your life, okay? Uh, so, we have Wheel of Fortune, okay, so this card represents destiny, all right? So, there are some things happening right now in your life which are really meant to happen, and these are big changes, big, uh, which are supposed to show you the way or, you know, put you on the, on the, in the right direction. So also luck is on your side, okay, this time. And uh, this is the root of your thinking, the root cause of everything what's happening in your life, okay? The root cause of, of everything what's right now happening is your destiny, okay? So basically the God and spirit guides and the angels, archangels are working on something for you in order to go forward, yeah, to help you with this transition what happened in the past queen of wands okay so you were actually very action driven okay very beautiful this is a card of beauty and very uh, sexy as well i see that and also successful action driven but right now you are not doing much you are just thinking yeah and resting all right what else what's gonna happen in the near future Oh, we have Ace of Swords. I don't do reversed cards. So, Ace of Swords card represents truth to be told or also victory and success. All right, so you are going to get some news or you're going to be successful in some sort of a endeavor or situation. Yeah, and uh, it's going to make you very happy. Also, this represents uh, for some of you, only some of you, yeah, becoming pregnant. Uh, so if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful, okay? If, if you are not talk, thinking about kids, just ignore this message. But this Ace of Swords card normally represents success, victory. You see, it's like being victorious, being like, yes, I did it, I did it. Okay, then we have the, the next card is Chaos, okay? Number five, and that is uh, five of one's energy. Okay, so this is your strength. Basically, this chaos, everything what happened, what was so chaotic, actually it gave you strength. So it gave you, a, it put you in a different position. It put you uh, in a position of being someone very strong. So whatever happened, you are showing your strength. All right, you are showing that you are a really strong person. All right, so what are the outside influences? The magician, oh, beautiful. So basically, everything what's happening right now in your life is the result of your manifestations, okay? The result of your prayers, the result of your, your... You have been asking for this change a long, long time, praying for it, visualizing it, affirming, doing affirmations, okay? And this is the result, why it's happening. What are your hopes and fears? The hanged man. Okay, so you don't want to be stuck anymore. You don't want to be like <laughs> not doing anything or not seeing... Uh, the light at the end of the tunnel right you don't want to be stuck anymore this is your hope and also fear because uh, who would like to be you know seeing other people being uh, moving on being successful and everything was happening in their life and in your life there is not much happening yeah you are afraid of it yeah you want to uh, grow you want to move on you want to go forward i understand you so what is the outcome okay definitely you are walking away from from some sort of a situation okay group number three and finding your luck finding going forward basically you are going forward you see this is the outcome you are going forward you are finding your true happiness amazing right so don't worry you are not gonna be stuck anymore <laughs> you are moving on 
So this is the, your Celtic cross reading for now and in the near future. Let's see and get some more general messages for you. For group number three people, what are the general messages? Group number three. All right, so we have man, dealings or relationship with a man. We have slowly but surely getting ahead, older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman and compliments for, from an admirer. Okay, so these are your general messages, yeah? There might be a man around you who would like to be in a relationship. Maybe you are already in a relationship with them. If, uh, if yes, uh, for some of you, you have walked away or you are going to walk away from them. For the others of you, you are finding them. Yeah, you are really walking away from your situation in order to find this man. All right, slowly but surely getting ahead. Yes, as I said, you don't want to be stuck in your energy anymore. But trust me, you are slowly but surely getting ahead. There is an older woman who is around you and who is uh, actually going to give you some advice. She is watching you. We also have compliments from an admirer. This could be that man, yeah? They might be your secret admirer, group number three. You might receive a bouquet, some flowers. So we have triumph over obstacles and troubles. Yes, we saw that with the Ace of Swords energy and heartache over what you no longer have. Okay. Anything else? We have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You see, you want to go forward. So what you need to do is to put on really good shoes yeah, and walk away. So put more effort into what you really want to achieve. We also have elephant. This is an amazing card because it speaks about a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Okay, so maybe you are going through it uh, slowly in order to you know, see the lessons and to to learn some lessons from this situation. But I see also travel. Great good fortune is coming for you. All right. We have heartache over what you no longer have. Please focus yourself on what you want to achieve and not what you have lost. Okay. We have younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman. We have involvement with the law. Okay, uh, some of you might be actually winning your, your case or the others of you, you might start working with law or start working with some sort of uh, legal issues at work. We have solid foundation success with effort. So definitely there is success on its way. It just needs solid foundation. And August, something could have happened already in the month of August. If not, it's gonna happen and um, it can be a significant month in some sort of a situation in your life. Okay, so that's all I have for you right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, group four will come to your reading. So let's have a look and find out, find out um, what's going on right now in your life and in the near future. Abundance, amazing. So right now, <laughs> oh, you're gonna be feeling very abundant in the near future. If you are not doing it right now, feeling right, like that right now, it's gonna happen. It's really gonna happen, all right? Because uh, you have already planted uh, the seeds you have already put a lot of efforts into whatever you have been dreaming of and you are getting your rewards. So please, Spirit, tell us a little bit more. We are going to do it slightly differently today. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Celtic Cross reading for you. 
and look deeper into your situation. So let's cut it. Group number four. So we have like that. I hope you can see it clearly. This is your Celtic cross reading. And let's start. So right now you are, oh, Knight of Cups energy. Either it's your energy or there is someone in your life who is uh, basically ready to express their love to you, their emotions, or show some gestures. This person is very romantic. This person is someone who would like to level up your connection if you have somebody in your life. If you are single, I see some opportunity presented to you, which is going to bring a lot of abundance in your life. And yes, it's looking pretty good. Very, very positive vibes. Okay, it being crossed by Wheel of Fortune. So this person was brought into your life for a purpose. Yeah, it's your destiny. Or if, if it's not talking about the person, this abundance is coming because it's meant to happen in your life. The destiny card, wheel of fortune. So things are moving on. Things are changing in your favor. Group number four. Okay, this is a perfect timing for changes in your life. All right, so what is your conscious thinking? Consciously, you are the high priestess. You are very spiritual. You are someone who is very mysterious, magical, someone who can read people easily, someone who has a high intuition. You could be psychic, you could be a tarot reader, but also you are someone who, who likes to talk to God and to the angels. So you are thinking in this way, very spiritual vibe. All right, so, um, okay, what is the next card? We have seven of swords energy. Okay, this is the root cause. All right, so maybe something already happened in your life. This is the root cause of, of what's going on right now. All right, there, there was someone who tried to steal something from you or who was not honest with you, who was a liar, who was uh, not a nice person. And this basically everything influenced your decisions. Very good. What is the past? For once, so you were feeling very happy. Something really happy happened in your life. Maybe you were married, okay, for some of you. Uh, I also see uh, happiness. You were celebrating something, but uh, this person has uh, changed your attitude, yeah? And also, you were really happy. So what's going to happen in the near future? Two of ones, okay, you are planning yourself. You are organizing yourself, looking into the future and planning something new in your life. You are in this stage of planning, but also this is a card of overseas. All right. So travel is being indicated here as well, because this person is holding a globe, um, the earth. So you might be thinking about the travel a lot. Okay. So the next card um, speaks about uh, your strength. Oh, the Hierophant. Okay. So you are very traditional. You are like someone who is, uh, you see, this is a couple. So, um, you're you're like someone mm, very spiritual but also very traditional very conservative someone this is your strength and you are not moving on you are not changing your attitude you are still traditional yeah you 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 know what you want and uh, in this way you are very stubborn you are staying uh, grounded you are staying mm, conservative okay what are the outside influences the hanged man okay so the outside influence is that it might look like nothing is really happening around you in your life, that you are in a bubble, that nothing is going on, that you are stuck, that you are on a pause. Okay? Mm, this is influencing your decisions. What are your hopes and fears? Oh, beautiful. Ace of Cups. You are hoping to meet someone new, all right, to fall in love very deeply. This is your hope, but also fear. Okay? You, are maybe, you have some fear of new love because you have been heartbroken by this uh, liar. Um, so yes but you are hoping you are still hoping don't lose hope my dear don't lose never give up what is the outcome for group number four 
okay the tower you have to clarify this card but i see a uh, big big change coming in maybe uh, it's gonna be a little bit i don't want to say painful but not nice yeah but it's gonna help you to move forward and to be finally happy let's clarify the tower card please give us one card oh okay so we have two cards all right so group number four you were dealing with oh, three cards all right so you were dealing with uh, someone who is very passionate in and out from your life and you were they were not communicative enough and uh, you are basically deciding to to put them in your friend zone yeah this is the tower moment okay you are finally realizing what is the best for you yeah so it's a good change yeah you have to take it positively even though it might be a little bit painful for you look at it from a perspective in five years time if you don't do it now you will still be unhappy but if you do it now in five years time you're gonna be happy you are gonna find your true love okay but i'm not saying it's gonna take five years it's just an example <laughs> it can happen very fast yeah uh, once you release this uh, other person from your life Okay, so this is your Celtic cross reading. And uh, let's get some general messages. All right, please tell us a little bit more for group, group number four. Look at that, we have sorrow over a loss. Yes, you are really uh, afraid of this loss. We have January. Maybe it has already happened in January. We also have strong emotions, passionate love or hate, temporary problems. Yes, we, group number four is going through some temporary problems. We have dissatisfaction with life and dark woman. There might be another woman around you or who has caused this loss in your life. All right okay so let's uh, get some more information Book number four look at that good news is on its way my dears good news is coming we have success assured with good plans and hard work if you have really good strategy and work hard then you are gonna be successful good, good news is coming we have woman dealings or relationship with a woman some woman might influence your decisions you are worrying over nothing yeah great worry over nothing there are two women around you we have hidden secrets can harm you just be careful okay then a few more messages from this deck for group number four all right we have be aware of self-delusion. A meeting with a stranger <laughs> is coming up as well. So we have financial pinch. Be careful about your money. Deep friendship with someone from this, of the same sex. Yes, this woman. Is, you, you're going to find a very strong uh, friend. New opportunities are coming. Possibilities and paths are opening up for you. And we have time to act lion card. And also pay attention to your work. Focus on your work, my dears. Okay, so yeah, that's your reading. Uh, if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.